Yeah, we killed that goblin. Okay. I, I was skeptical for a second. I was like, wait, did we actually kill that goblin? Or did I just forget about it? <laughs> I, I don't really know. You can probably hear Merv right now. He's just sort of running around, you know, chilling out. How you doing, Merv? Ah. He doesn't make any noise when I'm recording, other than the annoying ones. Like, it would just go, He'll make parrot noises, but he won't, he won't, like, talk properly. He might say hello. Hello? Nope, he just said, what's that? But in, like, his quick parrot way, what's that? That kind of thing, which is quite infuriating, I might add. I just realized this corner's weird. We want to get rid of the corner. We don't want that there. We don't want you in these parts, stranger. <laughs> there we go. We'll get rid of the corner. It's going to look a bit weird, I think. Mostly because of the front. But I'm sort of fine with that in a very evil way. Let's make sure that we get this back roof done first. So we'll go ahead and get our plaster right here. There we go. And then we'll go along like this. And then like that. And I want it to go along this way. Just because it adds some more shape. But it's also going to go alongside the back of the building. Which is quite a nice... I feel like it's going to be quite a nice look. Now, unfortunately, the back here is quite flat. Ooh, that's a good point. Uh... Yeah, the back is quite flat. We probably want to go out by one more. I don't really mind doing that on this side. Yeah, let's, let's make sure we do that. Okay, I like to use shape. Let's make sure that we stick to what we know. Let's make sure we delete those at the same time. Hopefully we have a miner nearby. <sighs> How do these windows look? They're not bad looking. I quite like the middle bit right there. Like a nice little plank of wood. Well, not a plank, but it just looks good. It's a nice little shape. In fact, yeah, that's really nice. How far away are they from each other? So it's like a nice... Yeah, two blocks wide in the middle. So if they're two blocks wide, they make this very cool looking... I'm not just sure what you would call it. But it just looks like a nice plank in the middle. Just sort of helping to separate the two windows. Quite cool. Or, well, holes. At the moment, they're holes, not really windows. But that's good. We'll make sure to... Try to... We want to make sure we got enough wood for this. We've only got one carpenter. And we're running out of logs fairly quickly. Although all these trees are now good to go. Or well, most of them are, by the looks of things. There's probably a few in the middle right there that I can't see. Let's make sure to chop them down. Let's remove mature. Right there. Do you want to get any out front? We do. There we are. We should have enough logs. I feel good about this. Make sure we get the ones over here. The problem with getting the ones over here... Uh, that for some reason, whenever I start chopping down in this particular area... Uh, area things just spawn, like, right there. Then again, though, that's just me and my bias, so you can ignore that, to be honest with you. I'm just being a little poo. I was going to say little shit right there, but I didn't... Oh. <laughs> Did swear a bit there. My bad. That was intentional for comedic effect. I feel like I've had this conversation before, but swearing does have its comedic advantages to it. I feel like using it too much, like the way I usually do, <laughs> is... A disadvantage to the comedic effect and draws away from it at times of need. For instance, if you if you don't have any words to say when it comes to something that is, I would say, funny or just like amazing or ridiculous in a certain situation, then swearing is key to making that funny moment. Now, I may sound a bit crazy right now, I know, coming up with all these things. I just realized... No, I didn't realize anything. I'm good. <laughs> Everything's okay. We just want to make sure we do this, I think. Maybe want to go out by one block. Wait. <laughs> Wait a minute. Let me just think about this. Okay. If we... we... Might need to go down by one block. Or this can go up by one block. Yeah, this is not going to make a difference. I mean, it will, it will give a shape, sure, but it, will just, it won't make much of a difference for us other than the shape bonus. You're going to get a shape bonus. Oh, fantastic. Unless we go down by one block, which will not make sense, really, considering the shape that we currently have, which is misaligned, 
but for obvious for good reasons I feel it's it's misaligned for a good reason ah. it might hurt at first to look at but we will succeed with our alignments I'm just not sure how the roof on the the top right there is really going to work but I guess it will just sort of it will go along like a sausage along the top <laughs> I don't know why sausage came to mind then it will just sort of peek up at this point right here which might look quite nice do apologize about that probably was quite loud for headphone users right there it was loud enough for me right Mm. So we're not really going in, and we usually have like an inside piece of of a roof. That's ah, it. That's ah. it. I was gonna say roof right there, but for some reason my brain just died a bit. So yeah, we got like a roof in the middle, and then these parts right here, sort of the, the smaller bits that go out a little bit, are just meant to be sort of a little bit separate from everything else. As you can see right here. Do we want to continue with that design? Because it seems like we've been doing that with all of our houses so far. So I don't see the real reason for us to not do that. But it just means that we're going to have to go up by one block on this bit. Which might mean that we need to go down a little bit. This is the problem right now when we try and differ from our usual architectural designs. Is that we usually get this kind of shiz happening. <laughs> I think we're alright. It just means... Yeah, it just means that we're going to have to... Oh, it looks good here, though. We could go up by one block. That might look quite interesting. Hey, Merv? One block, yeah? 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 <gasps> one block. One block? You want to go up one block? You're not a dog, are you? Nope. <laughs> yeah, that's not a bad idea. If we go up by one block right here... Well, two blocks. Then we'll have, like, a nice bit of timber plaster... Sort of sticking out over this skirt right here that I said we would try and have. And then this part right here can just sort of look separate. So there we go. We've done it. We're done. We know what we're doing. Let's make sure we actually connect up right here with some scaffolding. Utilities, scaffolding. That ain't right. <laughs> that is not right. There we are. Uh, that's also not right, actually. <laughs> No, don't construct it just yet. I know you two are very eager. It's like, oh, fucking love making scaffolding. But no, you can't do it. Not just yet. That looks quite good. I like that. I want to try and make the same effect, maybe. Possibly. Right, let's get these scaffolding. Not scaffolding. Scaffolding on the mine, apparently. Ow, you parrot. I hurt my eye. Right, anyway. <laughs> It's exceptionally Larry. Exceptionally Larry today. Hold on a second. This is actually going to work the way I want it to. We got to go down by one. That's the really, that's the problem we have right now. We have to go down by one block. If you go over here, you can see that it does, well, it goes in actually. Yeah. And really, that's what we need to do, I suppose. I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> yeah, it was very simple. Just get rid of these corners. Done. I still want to keep this bit, though. Ah, no, I don't. It's too late. We done fucked up. <laughs> Apparently, we screwed up. Quite vigorously, though. I'm not sure there was any vi anything vigorous about that screw-up. And we were quite quick to point it out as well, which is, I guess, is better than finding out episodes later when it's sort of too late. You know, at least we're finding out during the design phase, which is all good. Wood seems to be alright. We're not making as much as I would like. We can go up by an extra block with our timber plaster on these two uh, buildings right here. If we have a look, I think it's three blocks high. Oh no, it's only two blocks. Oh no, it is three blocks. Wait, what? One. Yeah, three blocks high. And this is the main level. We don't want to make the flooring just yet. Because it's quite a pain to do so. Mostly because it uses up quite a lot of wood. This, however, is alright, because we're only going to be using up an amount. <laughs> we use up, you know, 22 right there, and right here we use 14. That's fine. Beautiful. We'll do the same on these areas right here. Do you want to make sure it connects up? Oh, well, make sure it doesn't connect up awkwardly with our Fletchers right there. But at the same time, I want to make sure that it looks... Different and I think the best way to do that is by having smaller houses nearby that represent 
or the general, well, represents what it's going to be surrounded by, which is just going to be normal houses, to be honest with you. We might have a few gardens here and there. I really do need to set up something that's a bit different than just houses. Make it look a little bit cooler. I might want to get stocks. Do we, ha like, have capital punishment in this day and age? I feel like we do. You know, we're sort of medieval era. It's a normal thing. Got a bunch of dummies right here that we should probably start practicing on. That's a good point. What level is the engineer, the new guy? Can he make a mangonold? He's level 8. Midgey Man is level 8. I think that's good enough for us right now. We'll get rid of these dummies at some point. <laughs> we'll get there. What the hell? <laughs> he was hanging around on the floor and then just sort of gave up and was like, yeah, fuck it. <laughs> Thank you very much, Abel. You're the only one that's able to actually get the job done. <laughs> anyway, let's make sure to get the timber plaster again. Are we ever going to use Mossy Plaster? I don't think so. We have no room for sort of abandoned structures in our, ro in our road, apparently, in our world. So we're probably just going to ignore that. And there we are. Wait, I went out by one block there. That screwed everything up. It's all broken. And it didn't actually screw up as much as I was expecting. There we want to make sure... Doing this the very slow way. But I want to make sure there is a block on the outside. Just so that the actual ceiling, or actual roof, will work correctly. And it looks all good to me. I want to get the flooring touch. Can you stop eating my ear, please? He, every now and again, just nibbles on my ear. It is annoying. Incriminating as well and infringing my personal space. I will not have that. Right, anyway. It's probably just a sign of affection. I'm not sure if rabbit rabbits. <laughs> Merv is in fact a rabbit <laughs> of strange species. He does like to squawk like a parrot every now and again. Also, his tail whipped my forehead as he flew off right there, which is quite painful. But I'm just going to ignore it. Done. Mm. Also, something else I need to point out. Whenever I say ignore or not whenever I say it but whenever I'm not thinking about it I say ignore very annoying I'm just going to ignore it where the fuck is egg coming from <laughs> apparently I'm, I'm quite passionate about that how's that look uh, <laughs> I think it might look better once we get windows and that lot installed you know probably make sure it's running the latest and greatest drives as well it might be a good idea then again, I think it's because these timid bricks need to be elongated and... Oh, that's a good point. I did say that I was going to make the windows connect out from there. Hmm. Now I've got another interesting idea to make this house look a bit different than the usual designs that we have in our world. So we'll see what's going to happen here. In fact, we want to make sure we got the front done. We know this is going to be all good to go. Looks a bit weird, but you know. <laughs> I mean, what doesn't look weird, right? Merv just pulled my hair. It wasn't actually that bad. In fact, it was quite soothing. Uh, can you do that again, Merv? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Timber plaster. We don't want that. We want the timid brick. Let's make sure we go up by... Well, we'll do three blocks first. Can they get up to there? I don't think they can. Let's make sure we have some scaffolding to do that. Let's see, from here. Is that good? Because I should be able to mine three blocks higher from there. I feel like that's good enough. Oh, there we are. Just going to get those bits done. Leave the rest, though, won't you? Who the hell's this? Agro? Where's Abel? He can do it. I think he's a miner, actually. Well, he's of age, but a miner nonetheless. And I just realized this roof is going to be a lot higher than the building itself. Actually, it won't be. Because I've come to the conclusion that this section of the building right here is going to be the... The second floor of this building is going to have the roof. And this one's going to be roofed up on the first floor. This one on the second floor. And then this one is going to have a third floor. Which is going to be connected up and hovering over this sort of overview right here. Trust me. It's going to look good. Good. Anyway, I'm, I'm not sure why I'm using a very scary voice right there. But I'm terrified just listening to it, really. Let's make sure that we go around these areas right here. 
Oh, this is when it starts to get awkward. Okay, so we're going out. Are we going out? I think we are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sure, buddy. Anyway, I'm not sure why I'm using an accent right there. I think that's fine. The only problem we have is this corner is going to look a little bit weird. It's going to go out by too much. We might want to have a separate connector right there. Or we could just leave it the way it is. I don't really want to leave it the way it is. And also, this shouldn't be going down by so that much. There we go. So it's connecting up along here. Yeah. And I want to make sure it goes along like this. There we go. And if we just imagine it, it's going to go across like this. This is going to be the third floor area. It's going to be going up like this. It's going to be overshadowing this area. Which might look good or bad. I hope it looks good. It might look bad. Then again, it might look better if we just have it connect up to the actual pylons. I kind of prefer it just hooking up to the pylons themselves. To be honest with you. Like corners at the same time. Make sure it's just part of the corners. Yeah, we're going to go away from the traditional design. But isn't that the beauty of the Fletchers? They're just all fuck-ups. <laughs> yeah, that's what they are. I don't really mind that. It's quite nice. Because we've got this part right here. So we can have a nice little roof. They're separate as well, which will look quite nice. And part of this floor right here. So there's a bit of leveling going on right there. While at the same time, this bit is going to be going up a little bit, which might help to align the middle, because it's going to hook up to about there. And this bit should be able to reach up. We might want to go up by an extra timber plaster and lay on the second floor. We'll see if we can figure that out. I don't, know, I don't, think of, yeah. don't really think that's a good idea. What is a good idea? What is a good idea? That's a good point. Do I make... Do I have good ideas? I don't know. I'm running out of wood, though. <laughs> My wood's just dying right now. It's not great. Do we want to go out by one block at this point? We're not doing it here, so I'm not sure why we should continue with it. Unless... <laughs> Unless... Do we do it like that? That? I don't know why I specify the T there. I always do. I'm trying to use my T's a lot more. Okay, they've been taken out of my alphabet for quite a long time, and I want them back, damn it! We should really go out by one block at this point. The only problem with that is that it's going to poorly interact with the roof that's going to be right here. I just don't want there to be any corners, but we have no choice here, so you know what? Well, actually, with this point, we need to make sure it's going to go up with the timid brick. So, let's see, one, two, three. Well, actually, let's make sure it's four. Is four good enough there? Maybe not three. <laughs> My voice broke, I just realized that. Yeah, three's all right. We can do the same right here. We'll just make sure it's a block. Ah, screw it. <laughs> These are the kind of buildings where we just sort of test. That's really it. The Fletchers doesn't really have a predefined building type with it. Like, it's just not... It's usually a normal structure. That's it. You can actually get up and down it very easily. I'm not sure why you're not doing that right now. Do we want to make the roof here now? I think so. I think it's quite important that we get this done. So, if we go to our construction and roofing. There we are. That way we can get it aligned with this well. Let's just do this side first. And once again, we've fallen into the trap of using odd numbers to align our roofs. So we have an unfortunate flat edge. Which <clears throat> is quite annoying. I'll tell you what's more annoying though, when your float... Float? When your throat goes off, like just turns off, goes... Like mine just did then. I'm just... An ex it was an example. You know, I just... Did, I did take it out of the socket for a minute there. It runs on, well, power, for instance. Human energy. Human energies. I'm not one of those people that's like, you got to get your human energies, man. you got to make sure you use your chi. I mean, I'm, not that, I'm not one of those. I'm not crazy. <laughs> I'm not crazy. I like how I define those people as crazy. <laughs> Fucking nuts. <laughs> like, I'm swearing again. I do apologize right there. At the, at the same time, though, I'm sort of thinking to myself, bit of comedic timing. That's what that was, right? Yeah? Sure. <laughs> sure. Now, uh, you're stuck, sir. Do you want to get up? I could not walk to my desired target. You have desires. 
<laughs> wow. <laughs> Alright, utility scavenging mode. Were you just laughing at that poor guy right there? I was going to say bloke right there. Bloke. You laughing at that poor bloke? That's just rude. I'm using a, an accent again or a voice different from the one I usually have for comedic effect. I'm going to keep sort of pointing out these let's play flares that I seem to use or traits. Hmm. Which I picked up over the years. They're quite annoying, to be honest. I have no real comedic value, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'm really trying to say, just a horrible human being. Got to try and work through that with the mask. I'm not, not like, like V Vendetta, you know, like Guy Fawkes. Not that kind of mask, but, but, sh but still, close enough, right? Really? I mean, really? I mean, really? Anyway, yeah, really, there are no enemies right here. We still got Fieri's corpse melting away in the, melting away in the hot sun. Melting away <laughs> also makes sense. We have designations, and we don't. Yet they're still mining along here. It's pretty cool to see. I wonder if they've gained any new minerals from doing this. We're not making any more wood. We have a load of logs, so we should continue to make timber. 1,000 more, please. It's still a shame that they seem to fail every now and again. Even a level 20 carpenter seems to fail to make all of the 1,000 timber. That's fine. I'm not annoyed. Let's see. So, ore-wise, four copper, nine iron, and three mithril. Great. <laughs> Fantastic. We'll continue over here. You seem to all be stuck. But you can all get up and down very easily if you just, like, move. There we are. Now you can get up. Let's make sure we use the timber plaster along here. Let's see. Uh, timber plaster. There we are. Still having trouble finding the timber plaster block for some reason. All right. These are going up by a few extra layers. We want to get the flooring done for this first, I feel. So let's see. If we go to the... Do you want to use the timber tiles? I don't think so. I think we just sort of use what we usually do, which is the timbered floor. For me, it makes sense as a second floor and third floor tile. But once we get to that fourth floor, oh, the building becomes unstable because of the way I build them. Right. Let's see. Now, if only I could find what I'm looking for. Timbered floor. There we go. Found it. All right. So we've done that. We want to do the same along here. So I guess we should get that done. We are going to use up quite a lot of wood for this. I'm going to show how expensive timber floor is too. Okay. Quite expensive. Now, we want to make sure we keep this bit cut out. Just so we can actually get on top of this. On top of this, not on top of this. And we also want to make sure we get the flooring done for this part. And make sure it's free across so they can actually get into it later on. There we go. Now, this bit's all fine. Not going to be able to get up here anyway. This roof is all good to go. It's quite a nice attachment to the building. Want to make sure there's a window here, though. Even though it's kind of pointless, it just serves an aesthetical purpose, which, of course, they can actually get to it as well, which is nice to see. This is I'm not just sure what room this is really going to serve, or what purpose it's going to serve, but it should be a cool purpose. So, there we are. Not really too bad. We need to get the roof done for this area now. So, let's go to our timber plaster again. Let's see if we're running out of plaster first. Nope, we are. <laughs> the nope, we are. Okay. All right. So we got a decent amount of stone. We could probably make a thousand more plaster. Now, stonemasons make plaster, I believe. Yep, they do. And I think we've already got one on site. So we should be good enough. And I think it's fairly easy to make timber plaster. But let's just see how many we have. Lur sort of lounging around. One. Just one. Let's get one more. Let's get uh, Claire right there. You know, you're usually a mason. You probably want to go back to doing your old job. You're probably sick of building. I don't blame you. Well, I say I don't blame you. I mean, it's, it's awesome, but not when it involves manual labor. I'd rather just be the guy that points and says, yeah, you, go do it. Actually, that's a lie. I'm, I, I do work. I don't mind a bit of manual labor, ladies and gentlemen. It's all right. Keeps you nice and healthy. Let's make sure to actually get the walls. Undertakes right there. Yeah, I'm not lazy. Ladies and gentlemen, okay. I've done my fair share of manual labor jobs in my time, and I will not mind continuing to do so. Merv, don't climb up there because it hurts. Ow, that was my nipple. <laughs> Great. Fantastic. So how's that overhang doing? Haha, <laughs> it looks weird. Why does it look weird? Because hmm. it does. I think it looks weird because the doorway isn't exactly aligned. 
Can we change this? We can. We can change this, but it will involve trying. You're not stuck up there, are you? No, you're not. Good. You are stuck there, though. Let's make sure you find your way up. And there's two right there, but they can't get to them. I guess if we mine these two out and make sure there's no buildings being constructed along there, then we should be fine. There we are. I think you only need two blocks anyway, but I make the third block just because it, it's neater. There we are. Now, we do need to find a way to get up here. And we did block this bit off. Which makes sense, because it's going to align up perfectly. Well, I say perfectly. It's going to align up all rightly with, uh, with that bit right there, which I don't want anyway. So, you know what? We're going to go back to our floor. And the timbered floor right here. There we are, timbered floor. I'm going to go across by three right here. And we're just going to cut this bit off right there. There we go. And then we'll go ahead and get ourselves our scaffolding. There we are. Merv, stop biting my ear! My god! Why? How'd you get up there? Oh, they're getting up from this roof. Okay, well, we want to make sure they can get up here anyway. It's quite cramped, though, which is kind of annoying. I wasn't expecting that, to be honest with you. Mostly because of the way I constructed this building. I didn't really think about it too much. But there you go. That's the price of not thinking about things. Now, this is all right. Because we can get our timbered floor right here. Not timbered floor, but our plaster. Let's make sure we have enough plaster. Yeah, we're all right. Timber plaster. Uh, actually, we don't want to go across by two just yet. On this side, we do. I'm just trying to wonder how our roof is really going to work right here. Now, do we want it to go across along this side or along here? Uh, then again. I think it's a good idea. Oh, then again... We could do, like, a double. <gasps> okay. Wait, will this work? Sure it will. Sure it will work. Okay. <laughs> Merv's like, you can do it, buddy. <laughs> I can do it, Merv. Right. I fucked up. <laughs> ah. Yeah, Merv. <laughs> right. Right, okay, so we'll have like two arches right here. Instead of one big arch. They're slightly smaller than this bit. It's quite interesting, because there's like a second floor. Different shapes, ladies and gentlemen. And then we just got this bit that's going to eventually sort of cover over it anyway with one big building. Or at least one building that's going to connect to this in an integral manner. Sure. Yeah. I don't know how I feel about this, but I'm dying a little bit. Um, yeah. Let's get the uh, flooring. I'm just sort of trying things a bit differently to be honest with you. We, we, we leave that corner out. No oh dear. This is not going to work. <laughs> it's not going to work properly, is it? Well, it will still work. It just means that the corners right here are just going to start off a bit differently. That's really it. Okay, nothing wrong with being different, ladies and gentlemen. That is fine. So the flooring's going to be right here. However, we want to make sure this bit's connected to this. Yeah, like that. Yeah, that's fine. And then we'll just put like a block right there. So <laughs> we're all good. In fact, we don't even need to put a block right there. We just need to make sure it's sort of doing the same thing, but just going along like that. And then we'll have it connect up like this. Dad, power it. You clicked for me. <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> excuse, yeah, excuse me again. <laughs> Coughing a lot, apparently. This is going to look weird. Uh, it's fine. I'll go on to scrutiny later on. I think it's the problem I have is these corners look weirder. Uh, yeah, tell you what, we'll make sure we don't have those corners just sort of being random peaks. Let's go back to our let's fly parrot. Being loud. I can smell food. So hungry right now. <laughs> so hungry I could eat a parrot. <laughs> I'm looking at you, Murph. I'll tell you what, we're missing this bit right here. All right, let's go across down here. There we are, beautiful. And let's get rid of this block and make sure it connects up to the wall right there. It's not meant to do this, but I think it's just going to look nice. A little bit extra, I suppose. This bit looks a bit strange. Do I like it? 
course I do. I like this bit. I mean, well, I'll grow to like this bit. <laughs> really what I'm trying to say. Oh, yeah. Uh, um, what the hell's going on there? Ugh, it's fine. Just got sick a little. Uh, right, let's go to our wall.